Hello and welcome in everyone to another Harry Potter 2 PC World Record Reaction video. And this series has paused for a while, actually so long that some people thought I'm not gonna be doing those anymore. The reason for that is that we're gonna be watching two this video. So not just one world record, but actually two world records from two separate years. One from 2013 and one from 2014. So the reason that we're having two world records in this video instead of just one is that the 2013 world record by Alchem Magician, I don't want to say is a casual playthrough, but it's pretty uneventful. Like it's doing some strats, but it's overall pretty sloppy, pretty basic, and was honestly kind of a bit of a disappointing step back from Bar to the Void Devals run we've watched the week before, which pulled off some really amazing and insane strats in a segmented environment. It's still obviously a big milestone since it was the first non-segmented world record ever for this game, but I thought I can't leave it at that. So I also included the very first Harry Potter 2 record by none other than Raspert, who, if you're around for a bit longer in HP speedrunning, that name rings a bell. Absolute legend at HP speedrunning, went on to have many many world records to his name afterwards, so very very interesting and really cool stuff. Hope you're gonna enjoy the third part of my reaction series to old Harry Potter 2 PC world records. All right, all right, all right. The Spongify is kind of cute. I don't know if that is live split or whatever that is. Sadly, there's not going to be any like commentary gonna uh, that they have, like the race is on and that kind of stuff. W split. Ah, see, the OG runners. No, I have never seen that one before. But I guess that's been used back in the days. W split. Kevin knows as well. All right. Starts off very slow, not holding the correct inputs. Like, you have to keep in mind, this run is slower than the segmented one from Bart the Val. I have the feeling this is kind of a first playthrough kind of thing, but I don't know. We'll see. Is this loud enough, by the way? It's kind of hard for me to judge. I wonder if they're talking as well. I don't know. Uh, this person, by the way, Al Alchemagician, uh, I think is still somewhat around? Like, I think I've seen, yeah, it's seven months ago, yeah. I've seen them in some chats as well before, so... So no Willow Skip, um, wasn't in the other one, wasn't in the run from Bart the Val either. I'm curious how many other tricks he's gonna copy though, that were in Bart's run. Very curious about that. Also the safe books are quick, oh my god! No, HP2 is fine, Pax, I think. I mean, we're watching this game still, right? There's so many just chatting channels, I don't know. <laughs> it's, oh, I'm playing in 1.25 speed mark, so I'm, I'm, in, I'm done in time for my Potathon run. <laughs> if Harry is running faster than normal. Uh, but the save books are quick, which is kind of sick. Like, we can go back to normal real quick. I'm pretty sure this is not more than 60 FPS. Yeah, see. The Snipe and Chamber, no, we haven't even been doing that for like two years now or something, I believe. The run's an hour three... Hour six, apparently. So it should be fine. Big one safe was in loading took up to three minutes. Not in this PC. Like, he has a good PC, actually. This is... I'd say worse than the Bart the Vowel. Oh, yeah, it's way worse. I mean, doing this, at least. But with a long setup time, okay. That's kind of interesting to see that this is like technically an official record just because it's not segmented because it's quite a bit slower but I guess it makes sense doing it in one go is obviously more difficult. Brian's boosting was like 2016 uh, so it's quite a few quite a few years before. Oh he's doing the arrow keys as well. Yeah Bard is honestly was a freaking giga chat. Okay so he's doing arrow keys that's as we now know, if you don't have Rhinus boosting, that's very bad. But I guess the beam bonus room is genuinely confusing in how it works. So did Bart skim Nick? Yeah, 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 he did. I'm really curious on... Uh, it's not beating his time, it's not even close. But since it's not segmented, it's the first 
uh, one segment run, so it's the world record. Because I guess speedrunning kind of moved away from segmented and went more to like RTA in a lot of games. Or like one segment runs. At least he's doing the jump, that was pretty good actually. Not terrible. Is this software render? Oh, it's auto in that camera. But why is Harry blinking in and out of existence sometimes? Am I the only Am I seeing things? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, this jump actually. That jump is pretty decent. What strats were invented? Well, we're about to find out. I'm, I think this is software renderer, that's why the safe books are fucked as well. Which is banned nowadays. Uh, but nowadays you also, there's no shot you have a PC that's bad enough and needs it. The Bart the Val run had pretty much 90% of what we use nowadays. Oh, not doing... I can't remember, was that found in Bart's run? The, the actual ledge grab to the left? I can't recall if that one was found already, because that would be the first strat he's not doing already. But on the other hand, who knows if he's even watched the the old run, like Bard's run when he did this. Who knows? Solving the puzzle. One plus. A plus, sorry. German grades. <laughs> oh yeah, pretty much. Nowadays, I agree, Luna, yeah. There's no shot nowadays. There's a PC that can run this. Oh! Oh my god, yeah, the auto center camera. This is why it's bad. Like, it's really, it's really awful. Like, you see, you see how he sets up? And then the camera snaps back. And you don't see your feet anymore. Like, he, he, I don't know, it's so, it's so weird. Not turning that off is so weird. Like, he's, he's looking down to see where he has to jump up from. But then the camera snaps up and he doesn't see that anymore. So, yeah. Oh, Bart also pushed the crab. Okay, so that's the thing I guess we've improved on. Yeah, he did cast during, during the air, which is surprising. Five five star at us. Uh, yeah, for us that would be really bad. <laughs> oh, nice little shortcut here to the right. Quite an obvious one, I guess. Building a PC that can't run to PC. That would be nostalgia percent. Pushing crabs in, normal stuff. No Kobe yet, but that makes sense. Okay, what is he gonna do here? I guess not nothing much. Is he gonna get crab slides? No. Oh yeah, he did, but a good one. One in his favor. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I think, right? Yeah, yeah, it's sliding right in. <laughs> nice. GG's. Sometimes they help. That one was close as well. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? Why did he jump all the way down? <laughs> I mean, I've definitely done that before, but I usually reset if I do that. I mean, I guess it's the first run, so yeah. If your father's Pentium should I send it over? Nah, thanks. I think I'm good. Appreciate the offer, though. Okay. Another crap slide. You got like three crap slides. Holy shit. I mean, there's like ways you can make it less likely that they happen, so... Um... Yeah, nowadays we don't get them like that that often anymore. Also, look, it's not the RNG, it's because he did arrow keys. This is... I mean, I think the RNG was also bad. Can we maybe see or is the quality too bad? I don't know. You can change the speed with comma and dot. Oh my god, boomer moment, holy shit. I had no idea. I think it's even good RNG. Dude, wrench with the MVP knowledge. Probably, Mark. Yeah, maybe we can go in like yearly steps. That kind of makes sense. I think it's a 60, but it's really hard to tell. Yeah, that's a good idea actually going in yearly steps. Oh my god, he's waiting for so long in the fucking bean bonus room. If only he lost those three or uh, five seconds to not doing arrow keys. <laughs> that would have been a good trade off, I think. Yeah, this is Quidditch. I mean, not the greatest pathing, but not terrible. Question is, does he get hit? Oh, he's already knocked her out. And she comes back. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Oof. That took a while. I do want to also look at HP 1 and 3, that's true. Leverages were caused by recording full screen app. Oh, that could be. Yeah, I'm still not sure if this is software renderer, but it's not messed up enough for software renderer. That one's usually like looking worse, so 
Yeah, that's probably why. Oh, standing on the chest though and waiting for the line. Oh, interesting. He's scared. Oh, that's cool. He must have lost a run to this at some point. Oh, that's so cool to see. Look at this. He must have soft locked, but didn't quite know like what the timing is. He just waits like extra long. Oh, that's really cool. You can see that he's done it before. That's for sure. Doing the arrow keys. Oh, that looks like a fake input. Is that the first fake input we see? I think it is because all the other ones were like uh, segmented. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, he's getting really unlucky though, I gotta give it to him. Like, so many crab slides, fake inputs, like, oof, man. I don't know why I didn't reset, but I guess back then, since it wasn't optimized, I mean, there was no point. I do like, though, that this was legit stream to Twitch. And the free world record, exactly. It's a decent quality as well, yeah, I agree. So what is he doing here? Oh, yeah, that's impossible even. Casting one too early. I don't think you can... Maybe you can make that with a ledge grab, actually. And then he does it properly. Still with a ledge grab, but, you know... How many frames are required to record? And I mean, 60 is optimal, but anything really works as long as it's not, like, one. That's a very loud peeps. <laughs> I mean, that's also, like, stayed the same, I guess, through the years. Loud. Don't say that we get... Yeah, fair enough. Watchable quality. Doesn't have to be 60 FPS you're recording, but... Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, what is this? That's sick! Wait, that's so sick! That's, that's a cool strat! I had no idea that's possible. So essentially what he's doing is he needs to snipe this because for some reason there's a door, a wall that spawns here. Like, if you go too far in, the path gets blocked. Mm, did Bart do that? Maybe. Maybe I don't remember then. But that's really freaking cool. So you can snipe that and go back without the wall spawning. No stream weekend? Yeah, because it's Potathon. Potathon, uh, what I recommend people to watch instead. I don't, I don't feel like Bart has done that, no. This is just jumping onto those. Uh, maybe he did, I don't remember. The first time I feel like I see about it. What's really interesting though is the scale. So what, let's see what he does on the scale. That's a bit of a slow strat, but... Oh, Bart did do it? Okay, never mind then. Such a cool strat. So he did watch the Bart run, probably. Yeah. Not the fastest, but, you know. Okay, Bicorn. The Powdered Bicorn Horn. That's a cool split name. It's not powdered! What's that split name? <laughs> Is it? Oh my god. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Man, those were the days when you could just do feck all and you get world record. I miss those days. Is it powdered? Will be once given to Hermione. Oh yeah, she's gonna powder it, true. But it's not powdered when you pick it up. That's important. I love how there's a split just for Quidditch and then Scourge gets combined with Bicorn. No, Scourge is Potion class, right? Oh no, I guess not. Potion class is Potion class. <laughs> Never mind. It's a good point. That is a bit weird. Okay, this is pretty normal crap pushing. Nothing really to it. Interesting movement, but sure. Oh. I, uh, I, uh, people... I think... Oh my god, why do you need so long for this? <laughs> I know Bard also did it here, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, this is not even difficult. <laughs> also, by the way, before people complain again, I'm not trash talking the runner. I mean, I am, but like, only because it's funny to see nowadays in hindsight. Not because I think they're bad, they did a very good job for their time. They're still funny. Yeah, it's even if you jump, I mean, you take fall damage, I guess, if you jump, but yeah. Oh, oh, okay, I was about to say, is that the first person taking the fall damage? But no, he still goes through the, through the mace. Poor little world record runs. Honestly, considering they got a free world record run, they, they, you know, I don't want to say deserve it, but <laughs> I'm sure they're not going to mind. They got world record after all. I didn't. I never had. I had only 120 FPS. Ah, this strat. I like this strat. 
I was about to say a lot easier, but interesting jumping all the way across. That's kind of... <laughs> I mean, we're getting there, I think. Yeah. Hey, gotta give it to him though, he didn't hit the Scourge. Third try is the charm, you know. <laughs> Average Pycorn, pretty much. Also good ledge grabs. I, I always want to point that out, like I always like pointing that out. Okay, never mind. Okay, they were probably accidental, to be honest, looking at the other ones. But like it looked like it was intentional here that he jumps into medium ledge grabs. But I... Hmm. Because he jumps a bit away from the wall, but this one isn't a medium. And... And then this one is a weird ledge grab, but this one's a long, so I guess they were unintentional. Never mind, I don't have to point out anything. Extra save bridge, never mind. There's probably a new speed game at the time when everyone ran W7. I mean, there were two runs before, <clears throat> and he definitely watched Bart's run, for sure. I can guarantee, because of the strats. Must have. There's no shot he found the same thing in Scourge. That's like so obscure. So I'm pretty sure he's watched the one of the runs. But I mean, true, of course, it's it's a super early game. And uh, yeah, like a super early run. And it was really at the beginning, so... It's all well done, don't get me wrong. For its time, it's very okay. I love how they all did the risky strat. That's just RNG based, because I guess nothing else was known. Like, you can still do this in Glitchless, it's just really unlikely that you do it fast. <laughs> Standing in front of him and charging. It's like really difficult to do that well. Defindo, is he gonna do pixie right? <laughs> what are we thinking? How likely is it? Not very likely. That is an interesting strat. I think Bard waited for this snail. I might be wrong though. Oh, enjoy here. Yeah. That's nice. Mm, that's a long push, but I guess since it takes so long the other snail is like in position, so that's cool You don't really lose much time in Defender anyways because of cycles, so I guess this is kind of fine Also a good sign that this run is not cheated the cutscene plays. It's not a replay of the level very good Yeah, it should be probably about the same wasn't that poorly executed either. Oh my god. Talking about poor, poorly executed. Tried to snipe it fast, but needed three tries. Oh well. Nice damage. Yeah, I think the Findo is pretty standard. I doubt there's gonna be anything like crazy or anything bad. Okay, that's not using the moving platform boost. Not amazing, but I guess it might have not been found yet. Cannot recall if Bart did it once again. I have to say though, playing with auto center camera seems awful, so I can understand why he fails a lot. It seems really miserable doing that. Yeah, he is missing quite a bit. It, it, I would not call this a very good run, to be honest. Like, does this even beat MKT's run? It does, by three minutes, so it's not a lot better than that one. You can turn that off. Oh, yeah, 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 it's a menu setting. And it's so much nicer to play without. Oh, what? Did he do it? He almost did it. He almost did the mushroom thingy that people do now in Glitchless. Like, you want to jump on it to have, like, less of a ledge grab or, like, a smaller ledge grab. Yeah, in HP3, sadly, you have to deal with that nonsense, yeah. Dude, that's such a life hack with uh, point and comma. <laughs> Wrench coming in clutch with that. Or the center cam percent. Oh god, that would be bad. But at least doable, unlike the requested run today. Going down is also good. That's the faster one. We've seen up and down both, I think, so far. This is definitely the better one. Ow. Who needs health anyways? Oh, he could have just waited. Oh, I hate this. They've all been doing that, though. They could have just waited for the snail. What doing? The hell? That was weird. Hit the snail twice. That was kind of cool, actually. 
<laughs> I mean, it would be rapper, that's true. If that would have been known at that point. Like, for this, it looks so bad as well with auto center camera. Like, it looks so unpredictable. Because you don't see your feet. As the camera snaps back up, but he does the really good moving platform boost. I gotta give it to him. Credit where credit is due. That was pretty nice. Actually pretty dang solid. Gets the frogs, makes sense. Gotta keep Harry nice and healthy, of course. Ouch. Not a terrible defender at all, to be honest. That was definitely one of his better levels so far. With not that many fields. A couple of things that are just a bit outdated, but... You've never turned it off before? Yeah, definitely play without. I would recommend, obviously. I don't think I know a single person who has the preference to play with, though. But obviously people uh, are good at different things or play well with different things, but it it's really bad. Okay, what's the pathing here? How are we doing? That tree. That's a good pathing. That's really, really solid. Yeah, even casually, it's it's not a fun mechanic. I hate that it's just mandatory in HP3. Not terrible movement here either. Going through the middle, not getting blocked by Ron. No, not bad, not bad. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Is he gonna do the mushroom thing? Yeah. So that's probably also from Bart's run, I'd assume. Oh, this is enough, but he doesn't... Oh, that's cool though, the reposition. That's a thing we didn't see Bart do, because he didn't have to, because it's segmented, obviously. So he just restarted until the mushroom was in a good spot. But the reposition is kind of sick. I mean, this one is enough. You can absolutely make that from this mushroom, but I guess he did not know. And then uh, has to reposition it with the plant. And loses, like, all the health in the process, but that's okay. Yeah, hey, I guess, from the childhood experience. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a bit different. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it a bit more, forgetful. No shroom stacking. Satch. He got the frog. He's fine. There's so many frogs in Boomslang. Goyle hair. Goyle hair, I mean, straight to the point. Short and straight to the point. Okay, uh, Dumbledore skip. What are we thinking? Is he gonna do it or not? I'll say he's gonna try it and fail it like twice. That's my guess. We'll see. Check the... I think he's gonna do it. He checked where he is in the game, I think. What, he's not doing it? Oh, no. not another what? Even freaking Bart oh, Deval did it three years oh, no. ago. Or well, three years earlier. I was so certain because he checked the, the info in the menu, like where he's at. As in like, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's Goyle Skip coming up, I'll get ready. Uh, what the hell? This must be Professor Dumbledore. To advance for 2013. I mean, to be fair, this is first run. There's a lot of people that don't do this on their first run because it is kind of difficult. Segmented only, yeah. Maybe it was believed, I mean, not. I, there's no shot it was believed to be segmented only. Why is the game in English? Oh, this is way before we... Uh, we knew what the fastest time for this game was. Also, I'm pretty sure this guy is British or English. Like, I'm pretty sure that's his native tongue, so playing in anything else would be very weird at the time. No, it's the third one. It's the first non-segmented run. The first modern age run, I guess. I mean, <laughs> as modern as it gets with this pixelation. Goyle. Is he going to do the jump at the start? I assume he will. That's true, if you have no competition, then you can always get world record. He's not even doing the jump, mate, what? That's not a hard jump. And that's been in the Bart record, so... Hmm. That's actually a bit disappointing. SMH. I'm a little bit personally attacked by that. I feel, I feel like at least. I mean, to be fair, we've seen some cool techniques already uh, from some of the older world records. Some really nice swag strats. <laughs> yeah, that's true. At least he didn't walk through the fireplace. That's already a good time save. Just jumping down. Fireplace skip successful. Let's go. Does not position next to the thing. That's an interesting thing. I don't think anyone else did that either of the first three records. 
That's very interesting. Um, it seems so obvious to position yourself there to, so the snails charge towards you, but I guess it took a bit until people knew. I, I mean, there might actually be a soft lock in this because he's continued worse things, I guess, so far. Like, there have been some bad segments and he's kind of continued, so yeah, we'll see. This is a... Like, another reason why auto center camera sucks. Watch this in, like, real time. Like, it's so bad. You just have to keep on aiming back down. You have to fight the auto center camera. So you can't really do it smooth in one go. You have to kind of... I don't know. It's bad. No wall walk. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be quite a few reactions until we get to the first wall walk, I think. Oh, I can't wait until we get to the point where brightness boosting gets discovered. That's gonna be really fun to watch. Huh? What do you do there? Do you line up the haystack or what? <laughs> That's so weird. I mean, I guess it's a very difficult drop. Alright, not terrible. Tried to faith jump Assassin's Creed style. <laughs> He did end up in the haystack, I guess. Short trip to the bathroom, I guess? Yeah, I didn't take the pubes. That's kind of sad. Yeah, short. Taking the wrong turn for a second. Is he gonna jump down the staircase? Okay, he's not. Actually good, though. Like, I feel like... it Was it MKT who waited for the staircase? This is actually good. If you take this route, this is kind of optimal. Like, he didn't wait for the staircase, he just instantly jumped, and he's gonna, he's gonna make it anyways. So this is fine. Not jumping down and up slopes, aka staircases, but that's fair. That's a pretty... I don't want to say recent thing, but... Optimizations were not a thing at the time, I think. You just tried to f run through the game as much as you can. They did not know what optimization means. Goyle. Or Slytherin, rather. Just straight up in the middle. Straight on. Beautiful. Not even trying to make that fast. <laughs> Has the same is issues as everyone, with the spell fizzling out there because... Lol. Oh, bridge skip is gonna be interesting. Is he gonna go for it? Yeah. And pixie proxy is gonna be actually very, very interesting. This, this is hurting my soul, to be honest, jumping in the middle, but oh well. Are we doing well, Ancestral, by the way? No! Uh, mate! What doing? What is this? And then missing the switch like twice. It is the first no segment run. You gotta play it safe, you know. If world record is guaranteed, you can play it safe. <laughs> It'd be like that. No, they knew about bridge skip. It's not like it wasn't found. Yeah, that's true. At least he didn't clean up all the ectoplasm. That's a good point. But yeah, the, the second oldest record that's like three years before this did do bridge skip. He did almost all skips, like even Dumbledore skip and stuff. Interesting escape, by the way. But that was kind of unfortunate. Because of the non-existing bridge skip, the cycle was really weird, so... Probably the best he could have done there, escaping. Okay. This is gonna be scuffed movement again, as we're used to at this point. But not like terrible at least. Like he's doing this at least, a bit slow, but like, you know, whatever. <laughs> Good enough. Split name Aragog and not Aragog. That is actually a disgrace. Okay, do we get to see the fabled Spongify fake input? No. No. Probably no. Looks like no. Okay. No Spongify fake input. Does he jump over the cutscene though? Imagine. I doubt. That's such a small optimization. Yeah, nobody cares about that. Even nowadays people don't care about that mostly. Most people don't at least. Oh my god, Spongify with auto center camera seems absolute, like absolute pain as well. What bando? What is he doing? Oh, I was like, why is he throwing him? 
I did not, Archers. Another one? I'll definitely try. Thank you for letting me know. Last time I didn't get the chance. Sadly, they didn't accept me. No. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess that works. Oh, God. Yeah, oof. Yeah, Beaver had did a lot. Of, like, he had Hando for himself, essentially, for a long while. Not a lot of people did it, I think. And he was good at it as well, obviously, so... Yeah. Had that record for quite a bit. Oh, what are we doing here? Oh, this one. I like this strat. It's not fast, but, like, it's kind of cool. And at least the Spongebob short got the easiest trick in the book, to be honest. At least that he did, so that's cool. Yeah, I won't lie, though. So far, I'm a little bit disappointed about this run. I won't lie. Like, I mean, I knew it. It was a 106, so of course it's not great. But, like, ugh, man, you could have done some strats that were found. Like, I, I would have been okay with this being a 106 if he would have attempted the strats, you know? But he just didn't really <laughs> do anything interesting. <laughs> but that's okay. It's still a piece of history, you know? It's still a world record. More than I've achieved in HP to any percent, if you don't count 120. Okay, the... How do you miss it, like, three times? The miscasting, I, I tell you though, 90% of that miscasting is from auto sender camera. Without auto sender camera, I don't think he would have missed that many shots. It's just an awful mechanic. I don't think he went for it, right? Nah. Oh, actually, I mean, I don't know what he went for, to be honest. I think he just jumped off. I don't think they knew that bridge skip is a thing back in the days. Okay. That's not great. No ledge grab skips. Fighting? Why are you fighting the imps? Just run! Why would you do that? He's fought them in the other room as well. I guess he got PTSD from them. I mean, to be fair, I was terrified of them in my childhood, so... I can kind of relate, but it's so unnecessary. Just run past. <laughs> what is this? And he gets bit in, a, in the process. Like, if he wouldn't have fought them, he wouldn't have gotten bit. He wouldn't have got bit, I think. Whatever. And maybe. And, and a spider hater as well, apparently. He just He's just doing Monster Hunter percent now. <laughs> nah, sadly, this is not segmented anymore. Not sadly. I'm happy it's actually not, to be honest, but... Sadly, no cringe commentary this time. Only one person is doing cringe commentary this time. So, uh, it's already gotten better. Got reduced uh, to, to one out of two people. Or from two people. Uh, I mean, there's always some new things. That's actually kind of cool, getting the potion ingredients here. I kind of respect that. Being afraid of Ar Aragog. Uh, yeah, Quidditch transfer was essentially the end of last year, early Damn this year. Nice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you for the jump scare. Appreciate it. So there's always, like, new things that can get found. But it's probably not gonna be, like, gigantic discoveries anymore, is my guess. But, like, small time saves, left, right, and center, to push the record down, I think, are still very much possible. Maybe early chamber one day, who knows. Not doing the strat here, doing the casual, just walking around. Like, essentially, this is normal. This is how they would be for me as well if I wouldn't balance it. Like, what I do is I turn up the in-game audio and I turn down the game audio in the mixer. Uh, because HP2 kind of messed it up. And all of the audio from Aragog and Peeves in the airplane is on a separate slider that you cannot control. So that slider is always, like, at max volume, I guess. Um, and you cannot turn it down. That's the issue with it. Yeah, this is just the standard Aragog. Actually, it's it's actually the first good Aragog I think that we're seeing. Never mind. I've I've been a bit hard on this guy, but this is actually good for once because he's not moving, like he's not walking around in circles, which is really slow. He's staying in front of Aragog because what that does is Aragog doesn't turn as much because every time he turns, he's not attacking. Which means it takes longer until you can do the next crit. Um, so this is actually very good. And I think he's the first one doing this. I don't know if it's intentional, obviously. If he realized it's faster. Or if it's just how he likes to fight Aragog. I don't know. But this is a lot better than... Um, 
than what the other people did, the other two that we've seen before. I'm not softening up, I'm pointing out the good and the bad. I'm, I'm objective. It's There's more bad in this run than good, but that's okay. Bit of a late cutscene skip, but that's okay. Soft lock? <laughs> I mean, it's a hard jump. At least he's going for it. Like, I'm telling you, I like this more than when he's just doing safe strats, you know? Yeah, all, all kinds of text things, exactly. Defendo. That's an interesting, <laughs> an interesting set of movement as well. Down at the spiders, just panic jumping. Why? <laughs> but why? There was no reason to keep going. <laughs> He timed the rest so well and then just, just w walked into this for some reason. I mean, fair enough. You know, I gotta have, gotta have some trolling, gotta have some memeing. I mean, I died here a lot. It's a difficult segment if you play it casually. Oh, now he's waiting. Ah, see, it's not that hard. If you actually have patience, which I, to be fair, I don't have patience either. So I feel him on this. Oh, good. I didn't think that would make it, to be honest. I thought that's too far left, but... Nice. Good jump. Bit of a setup, obviously not optimal, but... Not terrible. Okay, Pixie Proxy, though. He's not gonna do it. There's no shot. He's gonna go around, I think. There's no shot he's doing Pixie Proxy. Man. It's a deck. He's not even doing pixie. <laughs> Kinda couldn't cast on them for some reason. Mm. Ah, okay. What? <laughs> I don't know how you fail that, but... Uh, that's kinda cool though. That's I think that's uh, his own strat as well. Oh my god, what am I watching? It's not very well executed, but this is kinda cool. Like, going, taking the shortcut, because I'm pretty sure the first record went all the way around. Bard obviously did his incredibly insane pixie proxy. And then this is kind of the the medium strat in the middle. So I think he must have found that himself. Like I don't know why it's so scuffed, to be honest, but it's 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 a cool idea to have. Like it's it's an impressive idea to get. Jesus Christ. Is next to me what I'm watching? Yeah, why was I even questioning? That's a good that's a good point. Stupid me. Okay, I guess that works. I, I mean, yeah, I guess. Don't want to get damaged too much. I have no idea. Yeah, at least he turned around to hit that pixie. Oh, wrong way. Occasional uh, game knowledge missing. That's fine. Oh, nice. 360, though. That was cool. Won't lie. <laughs> I think he's getting kind of bored towards the end. Oh. Those mistakes are like... It's so weird that those are in a world record, I won't lie. It's just so easy to do, like... I don't know. I guess he wanted to do trick shots too much. What? Really? Ugh. It... Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I love how that happens, by the way. Sometimes the pixie just becomes untargetable. 360 no one scope. <laughs> Yeah, it certainly feels like it sometimes. I, this room, I don't know what I, what I can say about this room, to be honest. It's like, at least take the Lumos things to get across. Like, going around is just the, the worst idea ever. There's not even... Don't know. Nah, there's not much to say. At least this is he's doing well, I guess. Don't have to jump. I mean, it's faster to jump, so I guess it's fine. Lou was faster than world record in this room. Kek wait. Don't bully your girlfriend like that. And the world record at the same time. It's actually 
double bully. That's, <laughs> that's, that's only experts can do that. No death at least, yeah, that's true. For one PC making those falls, you won't get even close to Wrecky these days? No, even, I mean, for two you wouldn't either. Two is really well optimized at this point. Mip's time is really good. Okay, four potions, might as well. Expect some damage at the statues and doesn't even try to avoid it, which fair enough. Yeah, good final split name. Okay, okay. Very nice. Oh, stands really close, which you don't want to do. Why do you not want to do it, chat? Who knows? Who knows the answer? It's like a school session now. <laughs> yeah, you do not want to be that close. Now he goes away a bit further, which is also not really optimal. He's not terrible, though. He's playing it very safe. How does this fight work? Snake dodges everything. Yeah, that's why you want to go close in this in this stage, as if you have health. So he has a harder time dodging. And in the first stage, you want to go back because uh, if you don't, if you're too close, the snake does the lunge attack, where it lunges towards you, towards you. And um, it literally takes an entire health bar, I'm pretty sure. Makes the police come for you. That too, yeah, of course. Snake molesting is a very, very serious issue. Snake will bite too, yes. And you you will die, exactly. Do worst jam. Close, close enough. Yeah, so you don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. This is not a good fight. <laughs> I don't think he is Redburn, to be completely honest. But there he goes, one of five, Snake. <laughs> Just the memeing at the end. Oh, what the actual hell is going on here? The epilepsy great hall. He also stops timer early. This is like a 15 probably. Ah, I don't know. Maybe it's a 14. Whatever. Yeah, well. Um, the trade for extra style. Yeah. I don't know what I can say. It's a cool piece of history. There isn't too much to say about this run. It was pretty standard, to be honest. Apart from, from some funny fails. Didn't really go for many strats. Didn't really play well. Didn't really seem like he's done many runs before. But absolutely a pioneer. Found a, one or two cool strats uh, that I could tell f in this run. Uh, and absolutely a legend for doing this run in 2013. Essentially the birth of the actual HP speedrunning scene. There's been a lot of runs in 2013. Like this is where the first people came up and actually like did a lot of runs uh, where, where, where there was a real battle. So this guy had it for a while until August and then Noob Buster, Frozen Lou, who's actually still around in this chat sometimes, by the way. Probably not right now, but um, absolute legends, of course. Yeah, and then 2014, at some point, the Resp era started. I don't know which run we watch next time. I'm kind of tempted to watch the first Resp run next time. Like, it's a, it's a gap of a year. It's like a yearly jump. An obviously absolute legend, so uh, I think that might be a good one to look into. Since then the record came down about 10 minutes from the last run we watched, which makes sense because even with the same strats, that one just had a bunch of like mistakes. The split name after Boomslang, Goyle Pube, yeah, I think a lot of, I mean, to be fair, his splits are less cursed than ours nowadays. I don't know how I'm gonna do this because this is probably gonna have commentary. Yes, it will. Ah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem, right? I think I'll just turn it down a bit, but I'll let him, like in case he has some interesting things to say, which he probably has, he's resp, he definitely has interesting stuff to say. We'll put it in 1.5. Yeah, the speed is gonna be it's gonna be a bit weird. We'll see. Harry Potter and the Stone Philosopher. Oh yeah, this is a thing. I remember this. Uh, you've already seen. Sorry. Uh, there. This is illegal nowadays. I think Resp had to run on software render, or maybe he liked it. I don't fully remember why, but I remember people telling me about that that he used software renderer.
which causes issues like this of stuff going through walls. And at some point it got outlawed and uh, it's not allowed anymore. Like, first of all, every PC nowadays has like can run it on on the integrated GPU and stuff. So nobody needs software render anymore. It was the super budget performance mode. And it just causes all kinds of tra issues. Also, FPS capping, I think, didn't work or something. I don't know. It, it causes like all kinds of issues. Whoops. Yeah, the Lumos wall also looks really rough. I wonder, is Willow Skip back in business though? Because we've seen Bart do it. No, okay. Crazy. Oh wait, no, we haven't seen Bart do it. Never mind. Willow Skip wasn't invented. Never mind. That's later. Good thing that Resp is kind of quiet because at 1.5 speed it's kind of hard to understand. Okay, good moving platform boost. Like, you can already tell, Resp is practiced, right? Or, you know, like, he spent time with the game. A lot more time than the last record uh, did that we've watched. Because his movement is better, he has, like, he knows what he's doing, he's not missing casts. Which is already, it's a lot better. Um, I am curious what he's gonna do in Rick 2, if he's gonna do the arrow keys, because all records we've seen so far, people are unsure what to do with the arrow keys. I genuinely can't understand, it's too quiet for me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Raspert. It's a bit weird having commentary, like two commentaries, kind of, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, nice movement, though. It's not f super, super smooth, but it's pretty good. And again, this trick, the other guy, I think, didn't even do it anymore. I might be wrong. I th no, I think he did do it, but like way less smooth. He did do it, right? Yeah, but I think he did it a, a lot worse and a lot slower. Okay, what are we doing here? Failing it. That is good. So they have evolved in this one year that we have skipped, essentially, that we time jumped. They have evolved to skip this. Which does save the time in the beam bonus room, so I don't know who came up with that, but there were some smart people at work in the meantime. Oh. It's a bit laggy, but I think that's the stream at the time. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I was about to ask, what does this stand for? But it's the ultimate gamer who had the world record at the time. It's, I mean, it's any percent, but... At the time, I don't... I think this would have been a valid glitchless run, is my guess. We'll see. Like, I don't think there's anything in here that is... that would be invalid. But it's technically the any percent category. Yeah, they don't pause cast yet. They, uh, they just kind of push it in very chill. <laughs> I don't understand them, I'm so sorry. Angry Goblin, I understood that. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. The vintage rest commentary is the best, man. It's great. There's some good stuff. The super YOLO jump on this, which makes sense. Gotta trust the cutscene and the bridge. Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. we might- No, he's pushing it! Okay, it's pre- it's pre the resp, apparently, which is, um... The strat that if you- you don't see my car- oh, you do see my car, so okay. If you grab here. Right, you can grab this. And usually Glitchless jumps back, but there's also a strat where you jump back and left. Which is the rest, so he found it, but uh, apparently he hasn't found it yet. So we'll get to see that in one of the future records, probably. For now, it's just casual. So I think so far nothing crazy, but loads better movement than, uh, than we've seen in the other run. Solving the puzzle. Not jumping, which is, I think, good. I don't know, I still, to this point, I don't know what's optimal in that feckin' elevator. <laughs> Bit of a slow jump on there, but safe. Nice. <laughs> I mean, it was fine. I mean, yeah, stuff is not, obviously some stuff is suboptimal, but... It's an old run. It's a very old run. See, I didn't do that, thank god. You were 14 at the time. Yeah, I was 16, that's so weird. 
surprising. Oh, it's all on software rendering, but in some level they don't cause like too many issues. Okay, does he get crab slides? Every record has gotten crab slides so far. Nope, nope, he's fine. Nice. Yeah, that makes sense as well, as a lot, yeah. Those were the good old days. Nice. Good spire, no problems. Golding. Let's go. Yeah, this has been almost a decade ago. Kind of crazy. Wait. Okay. It's a 61, I think. So they know about the beam bonus from RNG. They know how it works and how you spend time in there. That's good. That's an improvement to the other runs, which I think the, the last one we've watched spent a shit ton of time in the room. What is that sound? What is happening? Twitch, what doing? Is this? Did you play it on fucking New Year's Eve or what? Oh, it's a kettle. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> but why can I not go back in the vault? Okay, whatever. Apparently that part doesn't exist anymore. I, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, I mean, this should be pretty straightforward. So far, so good. I mean, this is gonna be straightforward. Yeah. So he's gonna parkour up. Oh, he's not even gonna parkour up. That's interesting. They didn't go onto the banisters quite yet. Might have been when Resp was in uni. I have absolutely no clue, but could be. It's 2014, July or something. Something July 2014. So it's like, it's literally almost a decade ago at this point. It's crazy. And no fake inputs. Obviously no skirt skip, that's still a couple of years out. He likes skirts though. I mean skirts is a good challenge. He said one down, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, maybe, like one down with like, without fake inputs. Nice boost across actually. You were on Twitch, yes, yeah, so you could have watched Resp back then. I mean, I don't know, maybe you have. I'm not sure what you watched. His, his run is good though, I mean it's it's a bit laggy, but like it's actually pretty good uh, gameplay wise. Like for the strats that I've found, this is already really refined and it's also his first record. Oh he's doing this one again, that's such an interesting lineup. So they did find a setup for this, I guess I have to explain this one again, uh, but we've seen it the other run do it as well. Essentially if you go any further than this, there's a weird wall spawning that blocks the path back. I do not know why, it makes no sense. So yeah, you can't go any further. I need to, I should learn that strat. It's probably useful for something like pff, bingo or something, I don't know. It's probably streaming on Vodafone internet, yeah. Might be the uni internet. Yeah, and then you have to hit the switch and go back, but you cannot go any further or you couldn't go back essentially. And then you can barely make this. It's such a cool strat. It's, it's not used anymore, which is really sad. Oh yeah, it's more software renderer going through walls. Always for flex, that's true. Could learn it. Okay. I assume he wanted to cast it at a mid-air because he said oh no. Which is a lot faster. Oh, that's also cool. They found... I think that's the other record didn't do that either. They found a new setup for this, which is still probably the easiest thing to do. Like what we do nowadays is we climb the thing and then just walk across. If you walk onto it in the correct angle, it goes up automatically, kind of. But you can also jump on it to make it go up and then jump on the edge to make it. So that's a good, that's cool. They found setups for a couple of things. So they've, they've been busy in this year, apparently. Oh, this is just following people, bike horn. It's not, it's not hard at all. Like, the scale is really not that difficult. The scale skip. Gaga going through the wall. I'm software renderer. Interesting that he waits to not get stuck, I guess, in mid-air. And since it's kind of cycle-based, doesn't matter much. Oh, that was one pushed in the wrong direction, but that's okay. 
Okay, the oh, he got the crab slide! No shot. He didn't go in though, he got the bad crab slide. That's such a shame. The, the good one is so cool. How did he get that though? What the fuck? That's such a weird way to get that. That's a good example of a crab slide. Like, I don't even know how he got that. I guess he pushed it on the slope and then it started sliding. Usually it's a different spot, but... Hmm. Kinda cool. Easy. Good pushing. Free. He's very quiet as well, isn't he? But I guess it's fine. Oh, and that's a that's an improvement. That's the first one I think to do this. The 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 rest of the records, apart from Bard, I think. No, even Bard, I think, has taken the elevator. So um, that's a nice little time save in exchange for health. This is a nice PowerPoint, though. I mean, he is British, so Vodafone is doing a good job, I'm sure. Yeah, I was saying that at the start. It's almost been a decade since this run was done. I was 16 when he did this run, barely 16. It's crazy. Also, this strat. Uh, I don't remember. I don't think we saw that either. Dude, this is kind of cool. There's a lot of new strats. And like vintage strats that are like not bad, but now obsolete kind of. Let's see. How does he do the ledge? Oh, he doesn't do the ledge grabs well. That hurts my soul. Oh, that hurts my soul. Resp, please. Your movement is so good. What is this? Like, you want to jump into all ledges so you get either mediums or small ledge grabs. Like, you don't want long ledge grabs. They suck. They bad. And he doesn't... I mean, he barely ever gets the optimal one there. Uh, so I guess that wasn't... Uh, again, as SLS said, optimization, I guess, wasn't that much of a thing. Uh, which is fair enough. Long equals bad. Yeah, still golding. Oh, no, it's not a gold. It's a green. Current world record that he's about to beat. Wait, that he's about to tie, actually. That's kind of funny. Yeah, not great. I shouldn't have lost. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I have a hard time understanding him. It's very quiet for me, yes, it is. Uh, it's any percent. Well, it's technically it would be glitchless, I guess, these days, but it's. You know, the old any percent. This is the any percent record of the time. Okay, now I'm curious. It's not the one where he gets the random brightness boost, right? No, surely not, but... Oh, that's... Oh, that's interesting. Hiding from the snail, so... Um, it, like, charges at you, kind of. Yeah, we have to definitely watch that one, though. Oh god, software renderer percent. I mean, we haven't done that yet. Gets the frog, which is good. That is still where Glitchless gets the frogs in Defindo. Because you have the cycles. At least most Glitchless runs, I think. <laughs> because the top run kind of does like a dumb skip there now, so... I don't know. Also, that robe is cursed. I didn't understand that. <laughs> oh, failing the block cast once. Not terrible. Wait, that's how Mincy's HP2 looks? Yeah, she's launching it in software renderer, that's why. <laughs> yeah, she should probably not do that. It's not very pleasant to look at. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Yeah, he wasn't happy about that either. That was not what you're looking for. First of all, the ledge grab was too long. Second of all, you want to stand on the block while you push it. That was close as well. Yeah, I see. So it was close before SLS, I see. But it just looks bad. Yeah, and he got a random boost, which is kind of funny. It just looks horrible and it performs really poorly and everything. Yeah, they're not even going up to grab the thing yet, so they don't really know about it. I got the lag, the PowerPoint. Oh, and they know about the cycle, though. <laughs> it's 
Just missed the cycle. So they do know about this. Oh my god, what is this? Oh yeah, the tunnels are below, so you see the vines. <laughs> see, like, look at this, and then ask me again, why is software render a bat? Like, come on, do I have to really explain it? And true, it doesn't even have the trees, yeah. Oh my god, what is going on? Looks fine to me. Yeah, that's the gaming experience you want. Yeah, I love my vines poking through the floor. Or something like that. That's mean. <laughs> I love that this has commentary now. Even though it's super quiet. <laughs> okay. You lost 12 seconds to what? So, so far, according to my PB, I've lost 12 seconds to die. Which to what? Nice. I don't understand. 12 seconds to die is not a very, very nice. Hello, Hopper Lobster. I mean, he's doing some nice rhymes and stuff, but... What did he lose it to? I'm not sure. I'm really curious. Dice, that's not very... Yeah, I talked about dice, but... Good RNG though, which is also a thing they know about, which I don't remember. I think the last one did it as well. Yeah, and he does the reposition. I can tell that during the PowerPoint. He does the reposition because it wasn't in a in a thing. Oh, poor RNG. Okay, I don't know which RNG we're talking about, but I see. That makes sense. Lost lost time to the dice. Okay, okay, I get it. Oh, Dumbledore skip! That sounds like Dumbledore skip. He's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, surely he's gonna do it. A couple of things have to go right. Oh no, they're not Rens. They're both cursed, cursed either way. Yeah, he's sighing quite a bit. Oh, he positions. We've all been there, mate. No worries. We've all been there. Uh, but like he positions very low, which I wouldn't advise. Like if you learn this trick, I mean it makes the angle easier, but you need some really sick timing. Like I stand here or somewhere. Like you don't want to be all the way on the edge because you always hit the cutscene like every time. But this is so low, like he has to jump perfectly to make that. Especially without spell tech, so. And it's crazy how this is world record by the way with this fail. With this double fail. Oh, I'm seeing myself in this as well. We've, we've all been there. That's Yeah, he, see? This time he stands higher. So maybe the first time it wasn't intentional. Like, this is this is a good... Like, last time it was down here or something. So this is a good bit higher. This is a good spot. If you're struggling with this trick, you know, roughly second highest step is actually pretty good. A good spot to stand in. And then he gets it. Without spell tech, which is actually kind of tough. So... Only I'm losing eight seconds. Right now, because um, our broadband, our broadband provider on the streets made a pansy right now. No. Oh. Babby Dumbledore skip. Yep. That explains some things. It's, it's the slower Dumbledore skip that gives you more time to set it up, essentially. So it's Babby Dumbledore. Oh, so they know about the fast one where you just jump onto the banister without the lineup. That's cool. That's the one we still do in versus. If you want to go fast. And God is pretty hard, apparently. Interesting, because you don't need to cut this. You can grab that latch. But I guess nobody had tried that back then. No, it's the VOD li uh, lagging. Uh, it's been lagging the entire time, sadly. But essentially, you don't need to cut that. You can do the jump, grab the latch, and then cut it if you miss it. Which is a lot better than going back, obviously. Man, he sounds so sad. It's all good, you get record. No worries. He's gonna save almost a, more than a minute at the end. That's kind of a lot. Does this mean... Also, oh, wait, no, he's pissed off with the internet. You know, that I can feel. I hope he mentions what provider it is, and I hope it's Vodafone. <laughs> Please tell me it's Vodafone. Uh, but can someone tell me what this means? Maybe SLS. What is the hashtag 63? Does that mean it's a... Uh, 63rd attempt 
Or does that mean something completely different? It is, okay. I mean, it shows that he's invested some time. Like, he's, he's good at the game, for sure. Did that make sense? Number of casts. <laughs> Wrong category. So look at the snails through the ceiling. As they still don't bait them. It's so... I don't understand. Why did it take so long for people to figure this out? To stand here so the snails go in? This is like a mystery to me, honestly. I don't understand. Why did it take so long? Yes. Also true, it is still in English. Those were the days. Those were the good days. Number of shit posts in his Twitch chat's probably also accurate. Dude, this is so cool to watch though. What a pioneer run as well. Crazy to see like the first ever record he got and then he went on to get a lot more in this in this game. Yeah, not again, not paying attention to the ledge grabs, which is fair. It's probably not. Probably even a more recent optimization. Oh, not doing the jump across. That surprises me. It looked like he was setting up for it as well, but then just drops down. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I feel so bad. Nine years later, I feel bad about his freaking drop frames. It's so shit, because I know this situation so well. I've been there way too many times. 40 seconds? Oh my god. Why does he have so much time in Slytherin? It's wonderful, I guess Bridge is good. Got a really weird jump, apparently. Okay, interesting. Let's see how slithering goes. What? 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 He's not doing bridge skip? He's doing Dumbledore skip, but not bridge skip? Are you for real? I am honestly kind of disappointed. I mean, not necessary is kind of giga chat, though, to be fair. Doesn't do bridge skips still gets world record. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> I can't make him do shit still, sadly. Nine years later, can't change it either. Man, that's disappointing though. Dice of cringe. <laughs> SMH. Well, I mean, to be fair, he has 40 seconds to save. How much does Bridge Skip save over that? Maybe 10 or 15? So he's still saving 25 completely safe, so it kind of makes sense. It, it definitely was very, very difficult of a trick. Like it's, it definitely it, it was harder back then than nowadays, I think. Also without uh, spell tech and stuff. It's good to see people getting annoyed by the same things back then. <laughs> Professor Snape. Oh my god. Wait, no, never mind. He has 48 seconds to save without bridge skip. What happened in his... Oh, I assume his PB probably tried it or something. I assume his PB tried it a couple times and failed it. So now he has like free time save. I assume. I don't know. And yeah, the froggy joke is also good. Uh, I was about to say. I still did it. Nice. I know that feeling as well, looking into chat and forgetting the strat. <laughs> my turn, dance? Okay, this is just Spongify. Don't think we have to watch this. As much as we're missing a little bit of commentary, but oh well. I mean, this challenge should be pretty straightforward. They had the shortcut like since the very beginning, essentially. There's no f way you got a fake input. <laughs> Did you close application frame host skillet? Also, this is an interesting strat. Now, I think he was worried about fake inputs earlier, so I don't know. I think they were a thing, no matter what. Oh! That was rubbish. 
<laughs> That's the most British way to <laughs> to call that ever. Well, I'm down about ten save seconds, I spent that I could have had. That's rough. What do you mean if you Oh this oh this one, okay. Yeah. I mean this is free though. What do you mean if you get this jump? There's no shot you don't get this jump. Jesus, the free time save left, right, and center is just insane. He has time save in the chamber as well, apparently, if I understood that correct. Okay, to be fair, the castle entrance hall looks kind of dope in software renderer. They're kind of pretty. Okay, that's the good way. I remember the one record that went around here. Which. Oh, strats the world record holder didn't I use. Well, okay, that was one time I didn't. But I didn't really use Spongify over the stairs, of course. So oh. The, <laughs> the Spongify, I see. Okay. Not doing MV Hagrid yet, SMH. Just looking at him Dude, normally. Is, uh, I mean, this is just... The way to the forest? Good pathing, though. Doesn't jump on Ron, but... Overall, good pathing. Like, you gotta say, like, his movement is genuinely impressive. Apart from the ledge grabs, the ledge grabs are really bad. <laughs> like, he, I guess that wasn't really a thing back then, paying attention to them, but all of the pathing and stuff seems very well practiced, I have to say. And this basically, it didn't have many mistakes. He just didn't, I mean, dumble the skip, obviously. And apart from that, he just kind of didn't go for a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so that spider's hitbox actually extends further than I thought it <laughs> That is pretty basic, I guess, of a forest without boosting and stuff, clearly. Many places, much chat. Wow. <laughs> Same year. Same year, mate. Uh, but the ledge scripts kind of give me pain, though, I won't lie. At least he's jumping into some of them. But I guess it wasn't really considered to be a big deal back then if you got the suboptimal ledge grab. Waiting for the spiders. Also kind of slow, but... Also, holy shit, doesn't kill the boat truck holes. That's kind of a chat move, especially on half health. That's kind of sick. Because they like to throw stuff at you. So that's kind of impressive to dare to just leave them alive. And there we go. Yeah, good forest. Nothing spectacular. Nothing horrible. You might not hear me now, actually. Yeah. Yeah, bye to my children. Also, finally, finally someone's doing that. Oh my god, it took so long. Finally someone just turns around at the start and casts at this. Thank you. Thank you, Resp. Thank you. They're not doing the double cast yet, but... At least they started off fast. Also, mmm, the Vodafone internet. Mmm, the connection. Vodafone UK. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And then let's see how the fight is. Good as well. So what you don't want to do is run around the entire time. Uh, because that makes Aragog turn and then he attacks slower. So you do want to stay as much as possible in front of his face. So he gets the attacks out quicker, you get crits quicker. You beat him quicker. So Resp doing that relatively well. Relatively well. Dodging everything, very nice. Well done. Nice. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Pretty good. Though. Should take the Spongify, I think. Yeah. Haven't seen the tape, have you? Oh, what? Oh my god, yeah, wait. I've never thought about that. You can just go there as well. I mean, it's not slower nor faster, but... Why do why does everyone go left actually? <laughs> what a boring world we live in. Everyone doing the same thing. But this is mirrored, right? So it should technically actually be the exact same outcome if he goes here. I doubt it's I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same, but it's just kinda cool to see. It's very refreshing. Oh, not doing this well though. He will have to wait at the crushers. It's not a big weight, so I guess it's kind of fine. So I will go right now. I would fail it because I'm not used to it at all. Okay, mm this one. Okay, here we go. This is where we could lose the 
There's Pixie Proxy time. Oh boy, he's nervous as well. He got this rasp. I believe. Nine years in the future, I believe. Please don't lag. What? He's doing... No way! Why are people such chats back in the days? What happened to us? Guys, what happened to us? What are we doing these days? We're not even... He didn't even stun it! He's, what a... How do we exist ten years later doing strats that are worse? Oh wait, that wasn't planned. <laughs> I thought that's the regular strat, but he's like hyped about it as well. <laughs> it was pretty sick, man. But why was he just YOLOing it though? Like what else was he doing if that's not the strat? <laughs> if that's not the expected outcome, I'm a bit confused. I mean it was pretty insane. Usually you stun the pixie and like look at it and yeah. But like if he usually does the normal way, was he just risking it for record or what? Maybe. Easy. <laughs> he's so hyped, that's so cool. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, he is a Giga chat. Can't deny that for sure. But yeah, probably that, Jordy. Probably people watching me has, uh, has ruined this community. <laughs> has ruined the skill in this. Wow. <laughs> Rip. Honestly, no way you would have made that with this health. So I think that was a good call. Oh wait, he had a potion though! He could have, I mean he got record, but he could have gotten it, like he could have untied it by so much. I thought he doesn't have a potion, but he does have one, it's fine. But I think at this point, after that pixie proxy, he's probably nervous as all hell, so it kind of makes sense. TBH. Dude, fucking software renderer, by the way. Look at look at this. Look at this. He beats it by a minute ten days later. Ah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, also true. Oh my god, look at this. It's so ugly. <laughs> also, it's kind of unfair because you see where the snake spawns, right? A little bit earlier. Do you? No, I don't think you do. It just kind of spawns in at the same time. Yeah, he barely even used the potion. Oh my god, it would have been so free. What doing? What? No. Oh, no. Wait, don't tell me they didn't know that it can't, that it can't die in there. No. What? No. Because he seems so, like, surprised that it didn't kill. Was that not known yet? You would think that's like one of the first things you notice, but you want to just cycle skip? Oh, let's see. No, <laughs> no, he definitely hit that. <laughs> he definitely aimed like right at it. I mean, maybe though. Also, that's true, real me. Oh my god, that's actually true. If he would have only collected enough ingredients for one potion, he would have had. I mean, he still has record, so. I don't think so. I don't think this can be it. Oh, that was a god -like. Oh, no. Tied, huh? Tied world record. Excuse me? Oh, What's no. that split? <laughs> yeah, next time I split 10 minutes before as well, I might get record. What the fuck? Is that where it used to be? That's like so early. Wait, I, I, need, to, I need to investigate. I might have it, yeah. I might have it. I have it. World record type. It sounds very hyped. <laughs> I just gonna no, look when he splits. Record. Oh my god, what the fuck? This is such a sk- <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to say it, but this is probably not world record. <laughs> I mean... Oh no. This- I, I don't want to be that guy, but this is... 
Mm. I don't think, but whatever. It's long time ago, so who cares? GG's regardless. <laughs> a bit of a scam, though. Uh, to be fair, I was a sick run with the pixie proxy, so... You know. He deserves that. Is it start of fade on? I don't know. The other guy I checked split on the load right now, so I don't know. I kind of can't really tell. Well, we'll get around to watch. Th oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's such a dumb rule. Yeah, it probably was that, because he also kind of just splits randomly. What a weird, what a weird timing. Whatever. And I had, like, seconds to save on that split because Ron and Hermione bonked me twice as I was trying to exit. In third place, Ah. Not bad. Oh, hey, Elton Gamer. In the to be quite <laughs> oh, the guy you just tied. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to replicate that chamber, though. Well, apparently you did, 10 days later. That was a really cool run to watch. I have to say. GG's to Resp. Very entertaining, very fun. Uh, really cool to hear the old commentary, which was very nice, by the way. Just a bit quiet for me for some reason. I had troubles understanding, but that's just me. You could tell that he practiced, that he uh, understands the game and the movement. Uh, you can tell that he wasn't doing that for the first time, definitely. Like, there was definitely some setups going on and some movement and, and good stuff. Very basic run still. He didn't go for some of the strats because he didn't have to, clearly. He got record anyways. Uh, Dumbledore skip was rough, obviously. Apart from that, pretty pretty good, pretty solid.